Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to find the derivative of y with respect to x in three ways. First, we're going to find using logarithmic differentiation. And second, we're going to find the derivative using exponential differentiation. And lastly, I'm going to share with you a one-step procedure, which I call it power exponential differentiation to find the derivative of y. Let's get started. Let us find the derivative using logarithmic differentiation. So the first step in this procedure is to take the absolute value of both sides. But in this case, we know that this base here is greater than zero. So we don't need to take absolute value of both sides of this equation before we take the logarithm of both sides. So we can now take the logarithm of both sides here and we'll get ln of y equal to ln of the right-hand side. And before we compute the derivative of both sides with respect to x, we can use a property of ln that tells us that this power here can be placed in front of the ln. So we can write the right-hand side of this equation as tangent x times the ln of the quantity x raised to 4 plus 1. And now we can already do implicit differentiation. So if we take the derivative of both sides with respect to x, we have to keep in mind that y is a function of x. So we'll get here 1 over y. So the derivative of ln u is 1 over u. So that is 1 over y times the derivative of u with respect to x. So that is times the derivative of y, which is y prime. And for the derivative of this right-hand side here, which is a product, so we use product rule. So we take the derivative of one factor at a time. So the derivative of tangent x is equal to secant squared x. And then times, just copy the second factor. And then plus, copy the first factor. And then times the derivative of the second factor. So what is the derivative of ln u? It is 1 over u times the derivative of u with respect to x. So the derivative of this is 4x cubed. So from here, we can already find the derivative of y by multiplying both sides of this equation by y. And we'll get here y prime is equal to y, keep in mind that this is your y here, times this right-hand side of uh, this equation here, which is uh, secant squared x times ln of the quantity x raised to 4 plus 1. And then plus, we may write this uh, product here as 4x cubed tangent x over x raised to 4 plus 1. So this is the derivative of y with respect to x. Let's now move to our second uh, technique. In this second method, we're going to use the exponential rule. And of course, for us to use the exponential rule for differentiation, we have to write this as an exponential function. For example, a constant raised to a function of x. But we know from a pre-calculus that if you have a positive number x, then this x can be written in base e as e raised to ln x. So thinking of this one as our x, then we can write this expression here as e raised to ln of this expression. And using, again, a property of natural logarithm, we can write the exponent of e here as this product here. And now we have already an expression which is in the form e raised to a function of x. And we have already a rule in finding the derivative of this kind of uh, functions. So the derivative of this one is just copy the function, just copy this one here, times the derivative of the power. So the derivative of tangent x times ln of the quantity x raised to 4 plus 1. And again, using the derivative of a product, we'll get here secant squared x times ln of the quantity x raised to 4 plus 1 plus this expression. Note here that this expression is the same thing as uh, this one. So this expression here is the same expression as we got a while ago using logarithmic differentiation. Let's now move to our last method, which for me is the fastest method among these uh, three ways. In this method, which I call it uh, power exponential differentiation, because we're going to use uh, two rules here, the power rule or the general power rule and the exponential rule. So let us first recall these uh, two rules here. So the power rule states that this is the power rule with the chain rule. So the derivative with respect to x of a power of a function is just equal to, you bring down the power, 
subtract 1 from the power times the derivative of the base. And now the exponential rule states that the derivative of a constant raised to a function is just equal to just copy this function here and then ln of the base b and then times the derivative of the power. So you have here g prime of x. So to compute the derivative of this expression here, we can actually first perform power rule and then plus the expression that we get when we perform exponential rule. That is the y prime here is equal to, okay, let us first perform the power rule. So we treat here the tangent x as a constant. So applying power rule, in this case, we bring down the tangent x and subtract one from the power and then times the derivative of the base, the derivative of this one, which is equal to 4x cubed. So again, we treat this as a power function, like in the form f of x raised to n. And then now, this is plus, we have to perform the exponential rule, treating the base here as a constant, like a constant b. So if we apply exponential rule to that one, treating x raised to 4 plus 1 as constant, then we'll get here this expression. So we just copy this one here. And then ln of the base, so that is ln of this base here, and then times the derivative of the power. And the derivative of tangent x is equal to secant squared x. And this sum here can be written as uh, this expression times uh, this uh, sum here. So note here that uh, this uh, expression here is just equal to the quantity x raised to 4 plus 1 raised to tangent x minus 1. And if we go back to the results of method 1 and 2, you'll see that the results are the same thing as this expression. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to help me grow this channel. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye!